If you are an undergraduate student, a current or prospective master's or PhD student, or if you are a postdoc or a career scientist that is looking to learn or brush up on the basic scientific tools needed in a typical biomedical career, this video is for you. We present 10 free courses that will supercharge your biomedical skills and career. Before we get on with our list, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the like button so that we can share this video with other aspiring biomedical scientists all over the world. So let's get started. Number one, a beginner's guide to genomic databases. In this course, you will gain the necessary foundational knowledge to proficiently navigate and interpret genomic data by utilizing web-based genomic databases to advance your biomedical research. Specific topics could include visualization of genomic data, navigating genomic databases including the NCBI and the UCSC genomic browser, how genomic data is structured and how they are stored and represented in computers. The second course involves learning the tools and technologies of cancer research. In this course, you will learn about the tools and technologies used by researchers and scientists to advance the field of cancer research including sequencing cell-based models of cancer and mouse models of cancer. Some specific topics that will be covered include next-generation sequencing technologies such as exome, transcriptome, targeted gene panel, whole genome, and epigenomic sequencing. You will also learn the different mouse models of cancer, including mouse tumor, xenograft, and advanced humanized mouse models. Number three, a beginner's guide to transgenic and mutant mouse strains for research. In this course, you will learn how to create and use mutant and transgenic mouse strains for your research through topics on genetic engineering, genetic background, nomenclature, selecting genetic controls, and other topics that include different types of mutations, including transgenes and targeted mutations, and you will learn about resources for selecting a mutant mouse for your experimental plan. Number four, a beginner's guide to common laboratory mouse strains. In this course, you will learn the essential concepts related to breeding and husbandry of common laboratory mouse strains. Specific topics include inbred, outbred, and hybrid nomenclature, breeding schemes of commonly used laboratory mouse strains, how substrains are developed, you learn about genetic drift and the reproducibility dilemma, and you learn about strategies to reduce genetic drift. You also learn about animal health monitoring and mouse room housing conditions. Number five is one of our favorite courses, and it involves learning about mouse modeling with the Crelux and FLT-FRT technology. Now, this Crelux system is applied to make different types of mouse models for hundreds of studies, including tissue-specific knockouts, general knockouts, and inducible knockouts, or to turn on fluorescent reporter genes. Other topics that will be covered include the P1 bacteriophage viral life cycle. You will learn about breeding schemes for tissue specific, general, and indiscipline knockouts, and you will really understand how to improve conditional knockout efficiency when you are using the Crelux or the FLT FRT technology in mouse strains. This one is particular course will be very, very important for a lot of budding biomedical scientists, especially those that are just getting started with graduate school. Number six, learn about the CRISPR-Cas9 genetic engineering technology for scientific research. In this course, you will learn the basics of utilizing the CRISPR-Cas9 gene editing technology to manipulate a gene of interest. After you're done with this course, you will have a basic understanding of nuclease biology, somatic and germline gene editing, and how to avoid off-target events during Cas9 editing. You also learn about the different types of Cas9, including the dead Cas9 protein and its uses. And apart from learning the basic mechanism of this Cas9 genome engineering technology, you will also learn about the practical applications in the clinic. So you are not just learning about how to use this 
this in the lab, but you're also going to learn the advanced methods and technologies in the clinic. Number seven, genotyping mice for scientific research. In this course, you will learn why genotyping is important when working with mice. By the end of the course, you will be able to properly genotype your mouse strain. Other topics that will be covered include different types of genotyping strategies, locating the genotyping protocols provided by the Jackson Laboratories. You also learn about the types of primers, reagents, equipment, and lab where needed. You learn the basics of DNA preparation and best practices when using PCR for genotyping. Number eight, mouse breeding strategies. In this course, you will learn simple to complex mouse breeding strategies that can be adapted for various research needs. You will understand the most efficient breeding strategies for your experimental and control mice, including how to predict the outcomes with the famous Ponet squares. Number nine, exploring cancer biology and inheritance. In this course, you will learn the key properties of cancer cells and understand the genetic and environmental factors that contribute to cancer risk and development. And importantly, you will get to apply your knowledge through a series of case studies. Number 10, Beyond Genes, Epigenetics, Environment and Health. In this course, you will learn the basics of genetics versus epigenetics. Importantly, you will understand potential environmental causes and consequences of epigenetic changes in studies using human and mouse models. The good news is we have collated all the individual links to these free courses into one post. So you can find the link in the description below and don't forget to subscribe to the channel and like this video so we can continue to share exceptional tips that will make you stand out in your scholarly journey.